So whether you're a Democrat, a Republican, or independent, if you don't want your sons and daughters drafted to fight and die in distant foreign lands that many of you have never even heard of, if you don't want your nation wrecked, if you don't want your economy destroyed, if you don't want American blood and American treasure squandered in a needless global war, you see it, they never end. They go for years, 21, 22 years. In Afghanistan, think of it, 21 years, 21 years. Too bad it carried out that long. We were going to get out of Afghanistan. We were coming out of Afghanistan, You know, I'm the one that got it down to 2,500 troops, but... I was going to keep Bagram. You know, Bagram is one of the biggest air bases in the world. Cost us billions of dollars years ago, billions and billions of dollars. Has the biggest, most powerful runways, meaning the thickest concrete of any place. I think it's eight feet. You know, I used to go, when I was building, I'd like to go four inches and I'd negotiate. Maybe we can do it for three and a half. These things are many feet thick. Most powerful, most powerful runways and everything else. And, uh... They gave it back. They gave it all back. But you have to really, you have to put people that know what to do. And if you want to get back to where we have to go, you have to vote for a, a gentleman named Donald J. Trump. That's all I can say. In his strategic communication approach, Trump intertwines family values and emotional ties to national security, using potential military consequences as a powerful emotional tool to influence voters. By framing military actions as essential for safeguarding both his family and the entire nation, Trump asserts control over his destiny amid the complexities of individual agency. Trump's rhetoric is centered on patriotism and economic resilience, linking voters' support for him to the prevention of economic strains and the preservation of crucial American resources. He characterizes wars as never-ending or instilling doubt about their purpose and global significance, thereby fostering skepticism about prolonged engagements and their human toll. A key aspect of Trump's messaging is the emphasis on individual accountability, a pervasive theme that runs through the fabric of his communication strategy. This narrative highlights Trump's commitment to shaping the nation's trajectory through intentional choices and positions him as a leader dedicated to the well-being and prosperity of the country. What do you think?